first things first, let's just get that out, this out of the way. Okay. Joey Exotic, one of Joey Exotic's ex-boyfriends. <laughs> That's the look I'm going for. Joey Exotic's ex-boyfriend. <laughs> one of. How's everyone doing? Are you alright? I'll firstly apologise if there's kids screaming and all this sort of stuff. It, we're in the garden, as you can tell. Um, so I do apologise if there's any wacky noises, but that's quarantine life, we just get on with it. I thought I'd do a little bit more on uh, on foraging, because I think it's, at this time, with in the current climate, I think it's a great thing to do on your daily walk, at this time of year you can pick up, you can get a slack handful of salad leaves and bits and pieces and just cook them up and you know, it, it, it's not going to feed you or feed you and your family fully, I'm aware of that, but it's, gonna, it's, a, it's a nice little thing to do with your family or on your own and, and it adds to your, um, to your weekly food bill because you, know, you don't have to buy your salads or whatever and, you, and it's, it's healthy and it helps us a little bit disconnect with um, these big supermarket teats that we're all so dependent on you know it's nice to step away from that and just get hands-on with what's real with the real food and how how it's acquired and um, yeah, it's on our doorstep so I'm just gonna show you a little bit of what I've been foraging and we're gonna cook some stuff up so I went for a little walk along the coast and picked up some velvet crabs. Little look around the rock pools. I found a couple of lobsters, uh, but they're all way too small. I brought my tape measure out just to double check everything. But they're all they're all way too small. I did get three velvets, and one of which is quite a stonker. You see. And because I'm living on my own and I'm just looking after myself, three velvet crabs I had. I plan to have a little fire down here and whatnot, but what I'm gonna do, because I've only got three and I wanna bulk them out, we're gonna take these back home and I'll show you a way how to how to span them out because there isn't a great deal of meat. There's meat in the claws, there's meat in the body. You've got nowhere to look. But we'll, um, I'll make the most of these three and I'll show you how I do it. Uh, back, uh, back in garden. Uh, let's fast track it. Here we have them. I've, uh, I popped them in the freezer for a humane dispatch. What I want to show you is just how you can span that out. So you would get these three crabs and you think, well, there's not really a meal there. But all we need is a, you need a potato, maybe an egg to help bind it, and we can make some delicious crab cakes. And I'm gonna show you how to do that now. Let's see if we can do a, a one stick fire. Right. Just nice and gentle. What you want to do is get quite thick bits at the end and then getting thinner as you go down. There we go. And then I like to flatten it off so I've got somewhere to put me put my fire steel and then the back of the knife, providing you've got a 90 degree angle on it. Some really nice fine stuff there. Giddy. There you go. I love that smell, mate. Love that smell. And there we are. Just be patient, it'll all catch. Ha 
latte. That's all we need. We're just making a latte stretch. I'm going to put some wild garlic, chop that up, put it in with the potatoes. But um, I just went on my walk this morning, um, and within the space of about 10 minutes, I'd collected. I've collected enough stuff to have a decent salad. It's just a bit of common land near where I live. As you can see, there's like industrial estate there. Hi, right, mate. Uh, said it there. Didn't get out back though. He's probably got headphones in, hasn't he? Hey, up. Oh, there's his wolf look. So the idea is that your little walk and you can. You can, I mean, I'm not saying that you can feed yourself, <laughs> but you can certainly take a bit of the stress off. You could, you could certainly get enough for a decent salad and not have to worry about spending money at the shop or just bulking out what you already have. Everything's all mixed in together, so I'll have to wade through just to, I'll let you have a little look at some stuff. So. Where's that primrose, right? This is primrose. Just before I go into this, if you're um, if you're not sure, if you're not 100% sure, don't pick it. Right, and something that's similar to primrose that I'm sure you've seen everywhere, it's, it's quite popular. Um, this is cowslip, and it has similar leaves to the primrose, it's the same family. <laughs> Edible, we've got some. Uh, this is Jack by the Hedge. Lovely garlicky mustard flavor. Might actually, in fact, I will put a bit of this in as well into me, into me crab cake. What else did I get? Got some uh, dandelion leaves. You'll know that from such plant heads as that. <laughs> this is beech. Just the new shoots of a beech leaf coming through, nice in salads. And I got some common, some common sorrel. Doesn't taste anything like wood sorrel. Plenty of stuff. That's just for me. Ten minutes looking about. That's just pretty easy to do. And I'm going to knock that up into a nice salad. Make a little vinaigrette for it or something, and and just have that with my crab cake. Salt and pepper. There's your tatey, coarsely mashed. I'll show you how to deal with one of these. Right, this big male lad here, you can tell because they've all got this bit here is thinner. If it's a female, that bit's a lot wider. So this is a decent sized male. They maybe get a little bit bigger than that, but that's that's this is quite a big one. So, and you've got to be careful, mate, because they've got these. I don't know if you can see here. Armor plated, and they're so vicious, mate. Like the begbie of the rock pools, these lads. They just go for you straight away. Very fast, very aggressive. So just pull the claw like that. You can take this bit out with the cartilage and clear that off with your, with your face. We'll have meat in here, ah, in these different sections. Uh, back of the old blade. Oh, annihilated it. 
and you can see there all the meat in the claw there so I'm going to pick at that and get both claws off well, that's one side I'll pick at that and I'll show you what we do with this There's, not, there's nothing really in these legs. You could have a little go at these thigh bits, <laughs> um, get some bits out, but you cut it in half and you get loads of meat all in and around here, and then this brown meat here, all can go in. So I'm gonna do all three of them and put it in with my mash. Got all the meat out, and that's gone in with the potato, and I'm gonna put some, this is wild garlic that I picked the other day. And uh, this is just off my walk today, a bit of jack by the hedge, which is a nice, similar to the wild garlic, but it's got more of a mustardy flavour to it. I'll pick a few of them leaves. About that many will do. I'm going to chop these up. And that'll just bind everything together. So normally I would mould that into like a cake and then flour it, maybe egg it, breadcrumbs. You can make your own breadcrumbs seasoning and just some old crust of bread or whatever, stale bread. But I don't have any of that, so I'm just whacking it in like that into the pan. With these, you just simply wash them, and then, I'd normally mix this in its own thing, but. We're roughing it out, we saw. A little bit of extra virgin olive oil. A little bit of balsamic. And a bit of salt and pepper. A voila. <sighs> right, if you've just tuned in, no, this isn't the Tiger King 2, and no, I'm not one of Joey. <laughs> I keep calling him Joey. <laughs> uh, I'm not one of Joey Tribbiani's ex boyfriends. <laughs> Could it? Get my face out at red. Is it having it or not? Mm. Well, mm. this is um beach, beach shoot. Primrose. This, it looks like a nettle, but it's not, it's a dead nettle. What's thing here? Ah, oh, focus is issue mate. Anyway, edible. Oh, there's the flowers. Wild garlic, but that's gone in our, in our huge, crab patty and mm, 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 mm. Oh, the garlic and the mustard from the jack by the hedge mm. and you can still taste the sweetness of the velvet crab mm. perfect
so they definitely didn't die in vain that was we made the most out of them mm -hmm. and as I said before it's nice to be able to just connect with what you're eating a little bit I'm not saying go out and be a complete swamp donkey and just have live out off land <coughs> Just tip the balance a little bit in favour of uh, maybe getting these instead of a bag of salad from your supermarket. Anyway, <sighs> look at this. Can you read that? Northern Monk Citrus Zest Sea Salt Goose. It's called Tidal, so it couldn't be better. Um, I've not been drinking of late because I didn't want to be in isolation and become an absolute wizard <clears throat> but Northern Monk sent me sent me a care package of delightful beers and this is the first one I've had because I thought why not if you're going to eat a lovely foraged meal and check in with you lovely humans I might as well <clears throat> blow the dust off one of these bad boys absent friends That's refreshing. Oh, oh, it's sour. That is that goes perfectly with this because I'll tell you what I would have done if I had any. I'd have squirted um, a little bit of lemon over this. What? I was tempted to use a little bit of washing up liquid over it, but I bottled it. If anyone from Northern Monk's watching. Thank you. Not for like, well, yeah, for the beers, um, but for the thought. The thought is a really nice thought, so thank you for that. Um, I'll do my best not to become an absolute fat alky. <laughs> but thank you very much for that. Um, if anyone else is um, stuck for, if you're of age and you're stuck for that, this sort of thing, <laughs> Northern Monk Web Shop, get them delivered some fine ales. Treat yourself. Oh, burning my shins. I fancy staying out for the night. I'm not going to camp, but I think we'll stay till it gets dark and beyond. Right, you don't want to be watching me shovel this into me pie all day. Um, thanks for watching. I hope you're all keeping well in these uh, crazy times. Just use it, just slow everything down, mate. Don't panic. Don't panic about it, because it's in it. Things are happening out there. That's out of things that are out of our control. But what is in our, in our control is how we take each day. And so, for me, I'm just slowing everything down to this pace, and uh, and, and it's working. Staying off the booze. That ain't your friend in lockdown too much. I know it relieves boredom, but in the long run, it isn't your mate. Um, yeah, <laughs> I have one every now and again, like. Uh, yeah, keep exercise. Eat well, that's all I can say, mate. Look after your noggin for when we get out of this, because uh, we could uh, we could get out of this and uh, be a better be better for it. I reckon it's um, give, put everything in perspective. Well, as for me, anyway, and that's a lovely gift to have. I think I'm not going to stand up even. So I'm enjoying this so much. Love to you. Fade to black. Any joking mate, love you, bye. I'm like Jordan, trying to rise on to the top. Now I'm trying to be an icon from the jump. They were warden, I let bygones be bygones. Cause they bars are gone by by the month. Now I'm trying to be an icon from the jump. They were warden, I let bygones be bygones. Cause they bars are gone by by the month.